Hello, um, so my name is Alexis Zalo, and I'm a doctoral student at Fordham University where I'm pursuing my PhD in counseling psychology. Um, I'm making this video to explain a little bit about me and my research in the hopes that I may find some women who are willing to help me. Um, so a little about me, I was a psychology and women and gender studies major in undergrad where my passion for social justice advocacy work began. Um, I love working with women and doing research in the general realm of women's issues, which um, leads me to my current research. Um, I knew that I wanted to do research on women and birth specifically because I think that mothers are the strongest and most powerful people on earth. Um, and I wanted to be a part of making sure that they're provided the best care possible. Um, so when I was researching women and birth experiences, there was only really research that existed about it in other countries. Um, there's a huge gap in the literature surrounding the psychological impact of emergency or unplanned C-sections. And this, in combination with the very unique structure of the healthcare system in the U.S., um, being a male-dominated system and, you know, um, yeah, there it leads to women and moms having very different experiences when it comes to birth. Um, and now, in the time of this pandemic, I really want to understand the experience of giving birth via unplanned or emergency C-sections during coronavirus. Um, this research is meant to make the experiences of these women come to life so that clinicians and medical practitioners can really figure out how to best help mothers who are going through this process in the most supportive and caring environment possible. So to do that, I need some brave and courageous mothers to be willing to share with me what their experience was like having an emergency or unplanned C-section since March of 2020. Um, it's about 45 to 60 minutes of an interview, and all identifying information is kept private. Um, I know how personal and powerful one's birth experience is, and so I do want to treat this with the utmost respect and care. Um, and so any willingness to help contribute to this research and hopefully change the way that hospitals and clinicians handle these experiences would be so greatly appreciated. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening. Um, and yeah, I hope to hear from some of you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>